After visiting Roca Madur, France's third most visited tourist destination, we are now heading toward the Mont Saint-Michel, located along the coast of Normandy. This is the second most popular tourist destination in France. The wonder of the Western world, right there in front of me. It forms a tower in the heart of an immense bay invaded by the highest tides in Europe. I'm so excited to be in a place that is 1300 years old. As you walk in through the main gate, you can't help but notice the narrow cobblestone street filled with restaurants, souvenir shops, and small hotels. It all started with Aubert, Bishop of Avranches, who built and consecrated a small church in the year 709. Along with Rome and St. James, this great spiritual and intellectual destination was one of the most important places of pilgrimage during the medieval era. For over 1,000 years, men, women and children went there by roads called Paths to Paradise. They were hoping to receive the assurance of eternity into heaven. It is not uncommon to learn that pilgrims have drowned going to and from the Mont Saint-Michel, being caught by the tide. They say that the tide rises at the speed of a galloping horse. Whoa, that's frightening. Nothing has changed since the Middle Ages, except for the merchandise, of course. The island has a population of only 50. As you climb the stairs to the abbey, we can imagine the pilgrims and monks climbing these exact stone stairs for 1,300 years. Monks have lived here since the 6th century. And of course, la pièce de résistance of this abbey is its church. Its gothic pointed arches and huge windows have and still fill the century with plenty of light. Sitting on top of this immense construction is the Abbey Poulter. In this space that is connected to several rooms, monks would grow vegetables and medicinal herbs. They meditated and read the Bible. This alone inspires many thoughtful visitors. A medieval skyscraper built upon a rock. This magical medieval monastery island counts itself as one of the most stunning sights in France. Explore the quicksand surrounding the island. But don't worry, tours are available and you will learn how to escape from quicksand. Remember, before you leave, you cannot go without tasting the famous omelette from La Mer Poulard. It was in 1888 that Annette and Victor Poulard achieved their dream, preparing meals for pilgrims, visitors, famous stars and writers. Madame Poulard's recipes are still a secret today. UNESCO classified the Mont Saint-Michel as a World Heritage Site in 1979, and this mecca of tourism welcomes more than 3 million visitors a year. To recap, we have now seen the third and the second most visited site in France. Now I wonder which site is in the number one spot. Any ideas? Don't hesitate to comment below. <laughs> <laughs>